Hey guys, Sergeant McNutty here, and today I'm not going to give you any commentary on anything stupid or dramatic, but no, I'm going to give you a story, a little bit of insight into my life. And today I'm going to tell you about the craziest night I have ever probably had. No, that's not true, but one of the craziest ones. One of the most biggest, most fondest memories I ever had in high school. And here we go. So basically, my friend's parents went away one weekend, and uh, he's like, yeah, well, we'll have the boys over for the weekend. So we're like, oh, okay, sounds good, it's going to be a good time, oh yeah, oh yeah, I can't wait for it. And basically, we have so much alcohol, it's insane, like, I think we had three two fours, two sixties of vodka, and a whole bunch of four loco, and it was just me, uh, one other guy whose house it was, and then I think four other people, and we were all chilling, drinking, and basically it gets to about 1 a.m., and we look over, and my one friend whose house it is is passed out on the ground, and <laughs> we're all watching TV and stuff, just chilling out, and he wakes up, runs outside in his boxers, starts throwing up on his lawn in the backyard. And we're like, oh my god, I can't believe this. Whatever, whatever. Stuff's going crazy. So we all go outside, start hitting golf balls into the into the distance as he's passed out on the grass. And he falls asleep. We decide to go back inside. And we look out. Ten minutes later, we go outside. We don't go outside. We stick our head outside. And there's a fox eating his vomit. And then it goes over and starts licking his ass. It was the most fucked up thing I've ever seen. We saw a fox licking our friend's ass. So our friend got eaten out by a fox. And we always cheer him about it to this day. And it's the funniest thing ever. Anyway, later that night, my friends decide to make a pizza and this is at like 3 in the morning so they make a pizza and my one friend covers the whole pizza in mustard like which is fucking disgusting I don't know why you would ever want mustard on your goddamn pizza and the, the other friend comes up to him punches him in the face they get in a huge ball it's 3 in the morning screams punches are thrown shit's going cra crazy and then they relax. Our one friend who was getting eaten out by a fox wakes up, starts like slurring his words, stands up, falls back down, and goes back to bed. So we're like, alright, we gotta get this guy inside. So me and my one friend grab a blanket, put it on the ground, roll our friend onto the blanket, and carry him like it's a freaking um, a hammock or something inside. And we put him in his bed. He he drops to the floor, gets up, and tries to leave his room, but we keep trying to put him back in, and he jumps and is hanging from his door frame. His door frame breaks off the wall. He lands a flat on his back, passes out, so we put him in his bed. The door frame is all over the floor, broken. Then my one friend goes, oh yeah, I gotta go talk to this girl. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? It's 4.30 in the morning at this point. We had to walk. Well, we didn't have to walk. We could have rode this bike. But we broke it. We literally turned the frame because one of us tried to hold on to the back. But we did too sharp of a turn and the bike frame bent with all our weight on it. Uh, anyway, so we go to this girl's house. I have to sit on the front lawn because this guy... He's talking to this girl at fucking 5 in the morning by the time we got there. I'm sitting there for like probably half an hour. We start walking away, smoking a nice fat cigar. And then we go back. Because halfway going back to the guy's house, he's like, oh, I left my keys on the, the lawn. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, seriously? So we go and do that. 
And then we go back. And we decide, you know what? Let's cook some burgers. So, we go to turn on the barbecue. The barbecue almost explodes. Flames start shooting out the sides of it as we turn it on. Shit was going crazy. Stuff melted on the side. And flames were pouring out of it. And we turn it off. And then we turn it on normally. Thank God. And start cooking burgers. Or so we thought. Apparently the propane ran out. So we thought it was cooked and we went to take a bite and it was all raw. It was disgusting. That's how hammered we were, I guess. But anyway, so our one friend, me and my buddy are there. And then our other buddy comes walking up. And we're like, oh, why don't you have a seat in the chair? There's a chair right there. He goes, what chair? I'm like, what do you mean? There's a chair right there. There's a chair literally right there. It's a white plastic chair. I just sit in it. He goes, what chair? I'm like, the chair, it's right there. This chair? Yeah, that chair. Why don't you sit in it? It's broken. We're like, what do you mean it's broken? He goes, look. Lifts up his leg, shoves his foot right through the chair, making a huge hole, and goes, it's broken now. I can't sit in it. I'm like, oh my god. And then after that, we went to bed. But yeah, that was my freaking funnest night I probably ever had with all my friends. It was a good time. Yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, click the subscribe button down below. Slap a like on it. Maybe share it to your friends. And I uh, hope you guys have a good one. Take care.